the objective we have with the training is to train the students in, in business development, uh, to train them to be able to refine their ideas from an uh, idea to a, a viable business case and to pre present us that, that business case for investors. We could help out in, in uh, the concept formation part of building a business. So that is what we uh, aim to do in this training course. I have been involved in the online session, so I haven't been on site in Rwanda at all. Um, but I have been also been involved in the planning for the course because we have done some adjustments due to the fact that this is a new setup for us. And in the online session, I have uh, reviewed the business plans um, the, okay. the same way as we do on site in Sweden when we do this. When you came to a country like Rwanda, you directly come to a country where you can see opportunities everywhere. Even if Rwanda is one of the poorest countries in the world, you are able to see potential everywhere you go. You can see a business potential in each corner you came to. By adding quite small amounts, amounts of resources, you directly can create new business ideas. The course is designed in with one intensive week when we start out, and then we support the, the students uh, during a six, seven week period where we support them uh, over the net. So they have uh, a couple of different reports that they have to work with during this six, seven week period. Uh, and we give them feedback um, and they have an opportunity to, to uh, ask us questions or ask for advice during the process. What they're doing during these six, seven weeks is that they, they are working to develop a business concept from an initial idea um, formulated by themselves. And then we try to wrap things up uh, with one, uh, a second week in Rwanda, uh, which closes the course. And the idea is that during that time, they will also be um, uh, coached um, for a presentation that they're going to do uh, in front of a panel of potential investors. So we follow a format which is similar to what we have been doing with Swedish students, with the difference that part of the course uh, is delivered online rather than um, on site. You had a feeling of, uh, you actually could give them an experience that they can use so you can feel that you are uh, making difference, you are uh, creating uh, changes in a country. And that was a very special feeling to know that, okay, I can take the experience from uh, my work with companies in Sweden and actually directly add them into companies in Rwanda. It doesn't really matter if you're developing a business idea in Rwanda or you develop it here in Sweden or in Germany or wherever because there are some major questions that you need to reflect on. That is, what is the pain statement and who is willing to pay for it and how will you reach the market and how much will it cost to develop it and will you earn money doing it? I mean, there are a couple of questions and this is something you rewind in several refine it in several iterations. Um, so it's quite general whether where in the world you develop a business idea. The purpose is to train students how to develop a business idea from just a piece of paper to a pitch to investors. So if they if they want to do this for real they have to they will know how to do it to develop a business idea and to start a company. That's the purpose. Uh, at the third phase, when we were at Rwanda uh, on-site training, 
we mostly worked uh, with the investment memorandum and we worked with the presentation. During the second phase uh, that was online, they worked a lot with the business plan. So we thought when we came to Rwanda the second time, we have to uh, compress the content of the business plan and make sure that the teams are able to present their RD in a short way. We used to say, if you do an investor pitch, you have like 12 minutes. And try to, create, to describe an ID in 12 minutes, it's quite hard. So that was something that we really try, uh, trained them on the second time we were in Rwanda. Don't put your burden on the customer. The customer won't, I bought my ticket. Why are you questioning me? Here's my ID, here's my ticket. If you cannot ensure there is no duplicate, it's your problem. It is not the customer problem. Remember that. An investor needs to know that you guys are, are coordinated and that you can work as a team and he's going to build trust in you. And I think it, it was a very good element that I saw in you. Those are my few comments. Thank you. I'm so glad I came back to Rwanda when I see the, uh, people like you and what Rwanda is doing. I'm very, very impressed. And we are all. So thank you very much. Uh, I think we need to give, a, again, a big applause to both teams. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, the most important thing were that we gave them a tool. So the next time when they come up with, an, one, with one ID, they know how to handle it. They now know a system that they can use to actually work with their own IDs and set up new com companies in Rwanda. I think that is the conclusion of the course. I don't, I'm not 100% sure that they are going to bring exactly the ID that they were working on the course. But the next time when they find an interesting ID, they can take the experience from the course and add the experience to the ID that they have come up with and start creating the business model around that. So I think they are a little bit more hungry, they, they want to do this a little bit more. So it was a, a, an honor to work with them, really. They were very, very uh, interested and, and very, very uh, ambitious. And they were really um, asking for more information and more teaching all the time. Encouraging to work with uh, a course like this in a country like Rwanda. And in a sense, it feels like this is what universities should be all about. This is a real opportunity to make a difference, um, which um, it's more rewarding than teaching uh, normal courses. Uh, in Sweden to Swedish students. I'm not saying that we should uh, do make everything in Rwanda instead of Sweden, but I think there is a marked difference and this is really feels worthwhile doing.